What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another video here on the official CDKeys.com YouTube channel. CD Keys. Pay less for the games you love over on our website. Check it out. It's linked below. And in today's video, we're going to be going over all the amazing releases and gaming news that you need to know this July. There's a lot of amazing games to talk about in today's video and even more cool news. So I'm not going to waste any time. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new and let's jump into this. Up first, we have Formula One 2022 releasing on the 1st of July across PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series, X and S, PS4 and PS5. If, if you're like me and you are a relentless Formula One fan as well as a racing games fan, you are going to love the new and improved F1 2022. In this latest addition to the F1 series, you're going to be taking your seat in official new redesigned cars and overhauled rules that redefine race day. You'll work through an amazing career, choose your team or make one of your own and start your journey to become the F1 world champion. Brand new rule set as well to reflect the actual 2022 season that's happening right now in Formula 1. So you will be racing one to one with the actual official rule set. With this game, you also get a taste of the glitz and glamour of the Formula 1 lifestyle, driving supercars, buying expensive clothing for your character and accessories, and much, much more. With this simulation experience, you can also get as close as you can to the real thing with VR support for PC players as well. Either play with yourself, friends, or online and experience some of the closest simulation driving to a Formula 1 experience out there. Next up, we have Match Point Tennis Championship, releasing on the 7th of July across PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series, X and S, PS4, PS5, and the Nintendo Switch. Fans of tennis? Cool, we got a tennis video game for you. In Matchpoint Tennis Championship, you can create your own tennis star and take on some of the most challenging players out there in tennis today. It offers a deep career mode featuring unique merit-based ranking systems so you can get to the top of the leaderboard. You will also create your own tennis star. You can choose your look, fashion, play style, and a massive array of customization options, including true-to-life techniques such as left or right-handed, one-handed or two-handed backhand. The game also features 16 real-life tennis stars, such as Nick Kyrgios, Kay Nikishuri, and Amanda Anisimova, and I'm sure I said all of them correctly. What's fantastic with this game is you have tactics on the court as well as off. You can watch some of your opponent's games before you play them in a match and get to know their playstyles and techniques throughout the game. It's ever-changing and very, very, very cool. There's loads of different modes in this game, such as your career, you got mini games as well as a practice mode, and this should keep fans of tennis busy for a long time. Next up is Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series, releasing on July 8th across PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and the Switch. Wow, every console is getting love today. Great. Klonoa is a 3D side-scrolling action game series which was first released by Namco in 1997. To commemorate the 25th anniversary of the first title in the series, Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series has been released. This is a remaster combining both Klonoa Door to Phantom Tile as well as Klonoa 2 Lunatis Veal. If you were fans of the original series back in the 90s, you will absolutely love these remastered versions. The remasters have left the game's main elements pretty much unchanged. The graphics have been completely overhauled. There's also adjustable difficulty settings to make the game more accessible for first time players because I'm not sure if you know this, the games are ridiculously hard. <laughs> and I guarantee you will receive a massive nostalgia trip. Art style is just amazing. So reflective of that late 90s game design, and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to give it a go myself. I don't know if you know this, everybody, but I'm old. I'm an old guy, okay? I played games in 97. Real cool. Next up, we have AI, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative, releasing on July 8th as well across PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series, X and S, PS4, PS5, and Switch. In this anime-style adventure, special agents Mizuki and Ryuki, along with their AI partners Abiba and Tama, are tasked to solve the bizarre and half-body serial killings in the sequel to the critically acclaimed AI Somnium Files. This is an anime-styled visual novel that just looks absolutely amazing. If you're looking for something to sit back, relax, and make your way through an ever-unfolding mystery, this is the game for you. The AI games have actually been pretty popular in the visual novel uh, genre for quite some time, and this uh, looks absolutely beautiful. I love the art. I love the way everything is put together. A little bit of a slower-paced game than what you might be used to, but if you've never tried out a visual novel game before, I genuinely recommend these. They're so much fun to just work your way through and investigate things and different choices and see how they affect the outcome of the story. Super fun. And I highly recommend giving them a go if you haven't. If you're like me and you don't normally play these type of games, you actually might be pleasantly surprised with what you might find. Next up, we have Stray, releasing on the 19th of July across PC, PS4, and PS5. Remember when they first showed off some of the games coming out on the PlayStation 5 and everyone was like, what's this crazy cat game? And then no one ever really talked about it again. That was Stray and it's coming out this month and it looks so cool. Stray is a third person cat adventure set in a detailed neon lit valley decaying cyber city and the murky environments of its seedy underbelly. Yes, you heard me correctly. 
and you meet and discover some amazing things and people on your journey. In the city the game is set in, basically completely inhabited by robots and you as your cool cat detective self basically figure out why. You see the world through the eyes of this cat and you basically interact as a cat would. You can be stealthy, silly, fly around, jump around and get to know the city as you do so and all of its strange inhabitants. The game looks super beautiful. If you're into kind of cyberpunk sci-fi stuff as well as maybe just cats, you're going to have a good time with this one. Looks really interesting. I can't wait to get my hands on it and see for myself if it lives up to the hype, but I'm sure it will judging by this footage. It looks super cool and a really unique game experience. I'm always really drawn to these games that are just something different that I haven't really seen before, or it's just kind of a reskin of a game with slightly different physics. I could genuinely say I've never really played anything like this, so I'm excited for it come July 19th. Next up is Ending Extinction is Forever, releasing on the 19th of July across PC, Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch. This is one of the games I'm more excited for on the list because I just love everything about the footage I've seen from it. Firstly, foxes are badass. They're better than cats. Fight me in the comments. I don't care. You play as a fox looking after its kids while you experience a world that's been ravaged by mankind. You are also the last fox on Earth, so there's a bit of an I Am Legend Will Smith type thing going on here. You explore a vast 3D side-scrolling world and you have to defend your kids against any sort of dangers that might be out in that world, feed them, watch them grow up, and they also develop unique personalities, fears, but most importantly, you gotta help them survive. I'm really looking forward to play this one. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful game. Next up is Sweet Transit, releasing on July 28th on PC. Sweet Transit, hook it up to my veins. Anyone who's been paying attention to these videos over the last couple of months may notice me talk a lot about how I've been become obsessed with real-time strategy games or city builder games. I just more sort of relaxed strategy or TS type stuff that I never have played before, but in the year 2022, I've become absolutely obsessed with. And Sweet Transit scratches all those itches and it adds trains. Sweet Transit is an expansive train-led city builder. You start with a single warehouse and build a thriving in-connected world of villages and cities as you expand your rail network and move between them all, as well as evolving your society. You connect all your settlements to ensure a painless transit for your workers and civilians working in your worlds, as well as platform stations and intricate routes to expand and link together all your settlements. You start with steam and work your way up to diesel trains by advancing through the game, discovering new technologies and mastering them. God, this sounds so good. <laughs> you also have to be a good leader in this game because your citizens have needs and they get tired as they work. It's important that you maintain their happiness and requirements by ensuring they have accommodation, water, food, and all the resources they might need to build you some cool railways. What's really amazing about Sweet Transit is it's got day one mod support, meaning that if you are a part of the modding community or just really like mods, you will be able to add mods from day one with lots of amazing custom content already in the works. Any game that fosters their modding community in my eyes gets a massive thumbs up for me. Why would you not want people to keep your game interesting and playable in really cool and unique ways? So hats off to Sweet Transit for doing that. And finally on our list of releases, we have the latest entry to Xenoblades Chronicles 3 coming to Nintendo Switch on the 29th of July. In Xenoblades Chronicles 3, join Noah and Mayo, members of two opposing nations of, of Kieves and Angus, on a heartfelt journey through a rich open world to end the cycle of violence and expose the true threat that both nations face. You can command up to six characters and seamlessly enter real-time RPG combat. All of your six party members jump into action against enemies, auto-attacking with their distinct arts and weapons, and you can also position your team to take advantage of these arts and maximize damage and debuffs. This game has been highly anticipated for quite some time, and fans of the Xenoblade Chronicles series, they just are like the craziest fandom out there in a really good way. I hope this game pays off for the hype, because it's been a long time coming, and you've all had about a thousand trailers for it, as well as a Nintendo Direct and I'm sure you're gonna love it when it does come out. If you've never played the Xenoblade Chronicle games before, I highly recommend getting into them in the run-up to this latest release. They're very cool. They provide hours of content and a lot of replayability as well. Beautiful stories, beautiful landscapes, and just an all-around good experience. So those are all the releases coming in July, and I'm really looking forward to playing literally nearly every game on that list. So now it's time to jump into some really amazing gaming news as well. First up is that a Resident Evil 4 remake has been announced and is releasing March, 2023. 
This has been a long time coming and is not really a shock to anybody because people have been begging for it for actually years. So I'm really excited for this one. Resident Evil 4 was, I think a lot of people my age got their first kind of foray into horror games. And I cannot wait to relive this one in high detail and just get scared all over again. Allegedly, we're also headed back to the Just Cause franchise with, with Just Cause 5 reportedly being in development. The Just Cause games, if you've never played them, they're just chaotic, silly, wholesome fun. And they're so, so great to just throw on and lose yourself in those amazing worlds and swing around for a little while while taking out enemies in the coolest ways possible. Spider-Man Miles Morales is coming to PC. I'm so super excited for that. I played the absolute pants out of those games on the PlayStation and I can't wait to do it on PC as well. So much fun, hours of content and a really great love letter to Spider-Man fans as well. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has also been announced for the PS5. We'll keep you posted on this one in later videos. I've been talking about other releases because this one is going to need a lot more dedicated time than we can give it. But important thing, it's coming. And as revealed in the latest state of play by Sony, Insomniac's Marvel Spider-Man is coming to PC this August 12th, 2022. Experience the game either for the first time or all over again in PC. And it's going to be amazing. One of my favorite games I've played in the last few years and I can't wait to go through it again in PC. Huge news. It's really cool to see more Sony exclusives making their way over to PC, such as God of War a couple of months back as well. Really great to see, and I hope they do more of it. So can't wait to play it. Keep an eye on the Epic Games Store on August 12th. Everybody, those are our releases for the month of July and all the gaming news you need to know. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you're most excited for down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for all the latest and greatest in gaming. And if you want to check out any of the games that we mentioned today or any games at all, head on over to our website, cdkeys.com. Browse thousands of games at the most affordable prices out there. Pay less for the games you love. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Much love. Bye-bye.